Okay, so quite a few people seem to like my desktop in general, like um, this aesthetic, like uh, um, the taskbar, I guess, the fact that it's centered, it's then the start orb, the start menu itself, and the wallpaper, and pretty much everything. Also, maybe even that I have this, like you know how it's usually blue, for me it's green, like my accent color. Yeah, I'm going to show you how I did all that in uh, this video. In order to do that, I created a virtual machine. So, on my website, you'll be able to download um, a zip file called desktop.zip, which uh, contains um, a text document uh, with all the links to the things I used, um, the images for the start menu tiles I created, um, a custom Windows orb and a desktop wallpaper. Once it's downloaded, just right-click on it, extract it to wherever you need it to be, I guess. So let's start with the easy thing, supplying the desktop wallpaper. Right click on it, so that's the background. Boom. Press Windows key and I to open the control, um, to open the Windows settings, go to personalization, colors, and then here, set it to dark. And there you go. This is my green, pretty much, as in I call it my own green because I use it for my logo and everything. The color code is 3DD17F. So now onto the start menu. It has the new start menu tiles, which uh, you get if you update it with the latest Windows version, which is um, 20H2, apparently. Now let's install a program that gives us the ability to customize the start menu tiles. Just download the latest version from here. I'm just going to copy it and I'm going to paste it in this in here. Um, tell iconifier. There you go. And now here you'll have a list of every single program that is installed on your computer. So select the program you need, double click in here, click on browse over here, and let's use the oh no, code icon. I guess that's the closest thing. Click on OK and click on tile icon if I Now you just need to hop into your start menu, search for the notepads, so we do it like this, and pin it to the start menu. There you go, the customized tile. If we change the tile right now to say <laughs> audition, the tile I can avoid it again, the tile will update almost immediately. So that's neat. The next thing on the list is Rain Meter. If you haven't heard of Rain Meter yet, think of widgets on Android, but on your PC. Once it's installed, you have a lot of bullshit placed on your desktop straight away, which uh, we do not care about, so let's just right click on it, close skin. What we need to do is go back to our folder and copy this clock.ini file into the Raymeter folder inside of documents, Raymeter, skins, and let's, let's make a new folder. Let's call it mint center and in there paste the ini file. Go into the Raymeter configuration, click on update all, and there you should see your new folder. Instead of there, the clock.ini file, double click it again, and there you have your clock. As you can see, it doesn't actually use the font that I use on my computer. We're now going to install Chivo. Chivo. Chi uh, I have no idea how to pronounce it. Open any new tab, download family, move to the desktop, select all, install. And now we just have to right click on it and update the skin. Boop. Also, if you don't need any translations uh, for the days and the months and everything like I did, um, you can just, you know, delete that line, save it. Update the skin, and it should show Friday, blah blah blah. Now the next thing is the taskbar clock, which uh, on my system is vertical. Okay, well, I can't for the life of me figure out why the feck T-clock isn't working. <laughs> now you might have noticed that on my PC, um, texts are kind of smooth, and use grayscale, font smoothing, and stuff. This is a preset in Mac type. Let's install that. We're going, I'm going to use a registry mode because meh. and now you're going to see a bunch of different presets. I myself I'm using xmac, xmac 0 t default which is like grayscale font rendering and it's what I like. Click on finish, click on ok and let's see. Do I need to restart the entire computer or just have to restart Windows Explorer? Well, Windows Explorer 
that the trick too. There we go. Next up, start is back. Um, for this video, I'm just going to install the free trial because I can't be asked to input my product key again. And now it's installed. We can click here to customize. You can change the so-called taskbar features in here. Um, I'm going to enable um, standard taskbar icons and dynamic transparency. That's for the taskbar icon size. I'm going to make uh, this one large. Default start menu and default Windows 10 like taskbar style. And we're going to add a new start orb by pressing this plus button. And put in the orb. Select it, click on apply. And there you go. Also speaking of start menu, if you only want to see your um, tiles at the time and um, want to press a button where you want to see all your apps, then just go into your settings, personalization, start, and then disable show app list and start menu. Now if you click on here, you're going to see all your tiles, and if you click on here, you're going to see all your apps. If you don't have the money or something, I guess try Taskbar X and Open Shell. And last but not least, uh, the Accent Applicator. It's not really worth the effort of installing this uh, unsigned application file. Let's get WinRAW. So what we now have to do is uh, kind of ridiculous. Um, first, we need to go to the Windows settings again, go to Update and Security, developer options and enable install apps from different sources including loose files I guess that's how I can translate it it's just enabling developer mode basically so we need to open it using WinRAR and in here you're going to extract all the files from the DevX package just put it straight on a C drive just to be, just to make sure we're going to press Windows key and search for PowerShell and open it as an administrator now we're going to need to navigate wherever our file is. So we're going to type in CD and then the path, basically. And now we're going to type in add-appx package-path. We are already in the folder, so we're just going to do colon backslash app manifest.xml and dash register. And there we are. Now it's installed. Now, for some reason, it doesn't show any controls or anything. Once you start for the first time, for that you have to right-click on here and then you'll see this window. Select where you want to apply your accent color, active captions, gradient, tag ties, and blah, 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 blah. Click on OK, and there you go. Well, thanks for watching. Farewell and goodbye.